everybody, this is TriumWear412 taking a look at the game Anonymous Points Per Supply Center. I played France and intended to kind of mirror my strategy from the Classic 2 game where I take the natural centers for France and then attack England, move after that into the Mediterranean, and finish off my 18 by picking up the last few coastal centers. So we'll take a look and see how that worked for me. Even though the opening moves look pretty standard, I knew right away that my original strategy was not going to work because Germany was proving to be very difficult to work with. He was supposed to bounce me here in Burgundy, which was actually a large part of my first year strategy, and when that didn't happen, I decided to forget a German alliance and start talking more in depth with England. Uh, so you see, as things start to progress, I do take two of my natural centers, but I give up one. Uh, Belgium, which I was hoping to take, to England, and begin moving with England in 1902 against Germany. Uh, you see also what looks like, uh, to me anyways, a fairly obvious juggernaut in the east, and that is going to come into play as far as my diplomacy goes pretty soon. Uh, so you see we're moving against both Russia in the north and Germany in the center, and now I start moving units also in the south into Italy. Uh, I tell Italy in the end of the second year that my moves into the Mediterranean and even into the Italian peninsula are simply a defensive move to help him in his fight against the juggernaut. Uh, he does not believe me, but I keep those units there for quite some time. Again, I move them in in 1902 and just watch how long they sit there while I advance elsewhere. So you see we continue uh, England and I fighting in Germany, uh, taking Kiel in the end of 1903. Uh, he took Holland as a part of our plan, that wasn't a stab. And then Munich in 1904. And also Denmark, uh, bringing Germany down at the end of 1904 to just one center. And pushing the last Russian unit out of Scandinavia. So it was a pretty good opening few years and you see I still have my units just sitting down there in Italy uh, not attacking just kind of helping Italy in his defense against Turkey so we continue on and here in the end of 1905 really is where I think I seal my doom I timed my move against Italy extremely well I thought um, buying his uh, allegiance, if you want to call it that, buying his trust, and convincing him that I was not a threat, and then as soon as he moves out of Naples here, you see in the south, I move in in the fall turn to Rome, Naples, and Tunis. Turkey moving into Venice, taking his last home center, leaving him with just Trieste. Uh, so a really big year for me, lots of builds and I thought my strategy was working out quite well. And even into 1906, thought that things were going pretty well. I was going to be shuffling units around, trying to put up a decent defense in Italy. Uh, but then things start to fall apart here in 1907. You see England starts moving fleets back towards me. And I should qualify this with saying, in one of my previous commentaries, I believe is War of the Jewels, where I was playing England, I had six fleets and two armies and said of my French ally that I couldn't believe he didn't see the stab coming. Uh, in this case you'll notice that England has six fleets and three armies. and uh, This time I am the unsuspecting French player so really uh, in hindsight I should have seen this stab coming but I uh, was blinded I suppose by my own uh, desires in the south to pay too much attention to what England was doing. Uh, so I really, uh, maybe I let it go for longer than I should have. Um, in the fall of that same year, I continued to push into Italy. I had sent a message to England explaining to him why his stab was ill-timed and saying that he should uh, call it off until maybe another time. Uh, but he doesn't, and so in 1908, I began falling back in earnest to defend my territories from the English onslaught and really just let uh, Turkey take what he wants as I run away. 
And in all this, I wasn't expecting to uh, come back to win or really make any huge progress. What I was aiming for was Portugal. Uh, when someone gets a unit in Portugal, uh, if an enemy has Mid-Atlantic and a different enemy has Spain, uh, you're pretty safe in Portugal unless those two people are allied because one of them has to give, por give Portugal to the other. Uh, so I thought if I pushed and pushed and got myself into Portugal with Turkey closing in closely behind, I would be able to survive the game there. So you see I continue to push that direction. Uh, Russia and Turkey continuing in their juggernaut alliance pushing to the west. Uh, kind of funny to see an English unit all the way down here in Romania. Uh, and as we continue through, you'll see here in 1910, I finally get my unit into Portugal. Um, having a unit up here in English Channel kind of threatening the English player. I'm finally able to get in there, and Turkey was closing in fairly close behind. So I was able to time it well enough that I got into Portugal, and instead of England being on either side of me, where I might be in danger. I have England here and Turkey here. So I'm pretty sure that I'm going to survive the game at the very worst. Now the game pushes on. Uh, England is decent sized. Turkey probably could have taken the win but did not want to stab Russia to do so. And it became apparent at the end of 1912 that Turkey was either going to have to stab Russia to solo or accept a draw. And so, at the end of 1912, the game went to a draw, and instead of just surviving, I actually take a four-way split of the pot. So, obviously things didn't go the way I planned them. I took centers from Germany rather than England, and then was a victim to a big stab rather than taking an 18-center victory. But, uh, from what I ended up with, I was fairly happy with the outcome, uh, taking just as much from the game as any of the other uh, people involved in the draw. So that was the game. If you have any questions or comments, feel free to leave them, and thanks for watching.